Hey, Tactical Painter back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Come on out to the shop. We're going to be having some fun today. If you guys have been watching me on my Shop Talk Tuesdays, then you'll know that I've been stabilizing pine cones. And I've been casting those in blanks, having a lot of fun with it, just kind of doing some experimenting. And one of my most loyal Etsy customers actually saw that I was doing work on pine cones, said he wanted to get something like that for his fiance, and he saw my cosmic cloud blanks, said, hey, can you take the cosmic clouds and the pine cones, combine those together, use violet as the primary color with some of the red and the blue swirled into it to give it that cosmic look, and he wanted to see how it turned out. So we're gonna be doing an editor pen today for this, so stick around and we'll show you how it turns out. got a cool one up here today. We've got a Cosmos Cloud uh, blank with pine cones in it. So I've got a few pine cones all throughout this. You can kind of see them there in through the Cosmic Cloud. I did paint the tube and the inside of the barrel uh, on this one in order to make sure that all the colors show through. I painted it flat black. Um, the flat allows it to uh, adhere a little bit better to glue. Um, then Glossy does, and so we're going to go ahead and get this one turned up. This is too neat. Got a couple of voids here and there inside the pine cone, but that's to be expected. But this is looking pretty cool. sanding. Once I get all this gunk cleaned off, I'm going to get this sanded. I'll polish it a little bit. We'll hit it with some CA finish and I'll bring you guys back at that point. Alright, we've got this all polished or all sanded up and we just need to get on to doing our CA finish. Just going to hit it with a little bit of denatured alcohol to get it all cleaned up here. I'll only polish it up to about 1500 grit but that does just enough to where I can hit it with a CA finish and it will turn out lovely. There we go. It's all cleaned up. Alright, just going to be using Glue Boost CA finish on this. You get a little baggie on my finger. You get some blue shop towels going here. 
Got my lathe speed turned down to the slowest that it'll go. And here we go. Put on our first coat. And hit that with our activator. So we'll do two coats of that medium just like that and then we will go on and hit it with three coats of our thin CA glue boost. Now for our thin glue boost, just do the same process. All the way to the ends. And hit it with the activator. Alright, so now we just take that, re true up our ends, and we will get this going. Got this all polished up through 12,000 grit. Time to just hit it with a little bit of HUD Ultra Gloss. That's going to take this beautiful glossy finish to an even higher sheen it's just wonderful stuff don't need much just a small dot and we just work that in back and forth you just keep working it in until you feel it go into a rubber stage where it's harder to move back and forth and you just continue going press a little firmer and then I'll turn the lathe on to about 2000 rpm and then buff it in fully. And then once you feel that it's done its job, go to a clean section of your patch and buff it out. Just keep moving to a clean section of patch until the patch no longer comes off black. That's better. Go to another clean section. there it is. That is a thing of beauty. Let's go get that put together. Alright, we've got this gorgeous cosmic cloud blank with pine cones all polished up and ready to go. It is looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and get this put together. Really happy with how it turned out, and I'd show you if my camera would focus. There we go. Looks really neat. It's got some awesome cosmic portions to it. The customer wanted it mostly purple. There are blues and reds and streaks that go in there, which I'll show in the photos later. But let's go ahead and get this put together while we're at it here. So I just need to decide which end do I want to be toward the tip, which end do I want to be toward the top. I think we'll put this end toward the tip down here. And we'll have this end at the top. My only concern is just this portion right here. I just don't want that to be down toward the tip. I think that'll look better up in the air. We'll have this section down here is mostly resin, so this will show off more of the pine cone as you're holding it. Turned out really nice. Alright, so let's glue in our post cap. Now the chrome finish has almost no buildup, so this thing just slips in and out of there super easy and so you have to put a little glue in in order to permanently seal that in place. So I'm just using the medium glue boost to glue that in. I just put a couple of dots in there on each side, I tap it and get it to move around. want full coverage inside of there. A couple of dry spots down here. Here we go. And then as I press this in, I just twist it slightly in order to get it fully covered inside. And that seals up just like so. And I just tip it upright in order to get any glue that's left in there just to slide down, kind of drool and get thinner. That way it doesn't uh, impact the ink or anything as it goes inside. Alright, we got that fully set up. 
And now it's time to glue in our tip. To do that, we just do the same thing. We just take a couple of dots of glue in here. Put a couple of dots just inside. Wipe off any that get out on the outer rim. Tighten our tip in, back that out just slightly, and we'll press that in. No, there we go. Alright, now that's in place. We can tighten that tip up. Yep, that holds nicely. couple of blasts of accelerator in there just to seal up any glue that's left over. And there we have it. Let that set for a minute and then we can get our ink put in. Alright, so we let this sit for a little bit. Um, I did clean up a bead of glue that did uh, build up right on the interior of the lip um, on the inside of here. Popped right out just using a little um, diamond sharpener. Now we are all ready to add a spring to this. I did check it beforehand. The ink does stick out just slightly from there. And so I'm gonna take a spring left over from one of my other G2 kits. I'm gonna shorten it slightly. We'll bend it in just a wee bit in order to get it to fit. So there I've, I've snipped it a little shorter going to grab it with my pliers here, get my fat hand in there, we'll bend that and just flatten that out some. There we go. And now that will sit flatter against the shoulder, won't pop up over top of it. Now we can take that, drop that down into our the body of our pen, thread on our tip, and there we have it. Now with that spring in place, I can't pull that out at all. That is pressed firmly to the back of our pen, and it is ready to go. Put our cap on, and there we have it. That is one beautiful pen. Really happy with how that turned out. My first time working with a pine cone blank, and I'd say it turned out pretty nice. Did have a few voids that I had to fill in, which is expected from a pine cone blank. You can't always get all the resin down everywhere it needs to be, but uh, it does look pretty neat. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Some lovely sections in there, very cosmic in appearance. Real nice, and that cap holds on real good. Posts onto the back nicely good firm click really happy with how that turned out all right it's one more down So that's how that one turned out. Now I was super happy with it. Now I've already got it shipped off mail to the customer and he absolutely loved it. He thought it was one of the best that I'd done yet and he thought it was so good he thought it belonged in a museum which I was like that that's just an awesome praise. I was absolutely uh, surprised when he said that and it made me feel really good that he loved it so much and I really like how it turned out. I thought it was pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Throw a subscribe button right down here in the middle. Check out some of my videos here on the sides. This is Tactical Painter out in Suits Crafting Woodshop. Thanks for coming out. Happy turning.